Morning people, how are we doing? I've just uh, rocked up in an area of outstanding natural beauty which is called Bybury in the Cotswolds in England. As you can see over here, I'm coming to Arlington Row. These are cottages from the 14th century. Previously monks used to live in the in natural cottages and they were involved in the wool industry. After that, weavers moved into the cottages in the 17th century. Over this area, this is called Rack Island. Now what the weavers used to do, they'd actually bring out the wool and put them on racks and dry them, hence the name Rack Island. But yeah, how nice are these cottages? These are all owned by the National Trust now. Famous artist and uh, poet, William Morris said, Bybury has to be the um, most prettiest village in England. And obviously you can see, see why he thought that. Some of these cottages here, they're, they're on a, a hill called Awkward Hill. It's very narrow as you can see. Uh, not many places to park. Probably why they, they call it Awkward Hill, I'm not sure. But yeah, how beautiful and picturesque is this place? Absolutely stunning. Actual number nine here, this, this cottage here, you can actually uh, rent this for uh, three nights minimum on the National Trust website. So if you fancy staying down here, by all means get on the website and there you go. You can stay there. But the, uh, the famous car manufacturer Henry Ford from Michigan, USA, he visited uh, Arlington Row and he wanted to take uh, the cottages back to Michigan with him. I'm glad he didn't. And I'm glad they're still here to actually marvel at. You can see the uh, honey coloured Cotswold stone. That's what they're made out of. You can also see the slate roof. The way it's not straight, gives it a bit of character. It's literally up and down. Absolute stunning place, well worth a visit. It's the post office. A little quaint bed and breakfast. Yeah, I got here nice and early. It's quite, um, that's what I like. There's supposed to be a lot of crowds here at the moment. A lot of people come into the Cotswolds because um, a lot of people aren't obviously going a abroad or can't get to beaches, so they come to the countryside and just uh, congregate. So it's nice to get here early and uh, out of the way of the crowds. Just have a little wander around this, this quaint little village. This is St Mary's Church. Yeah, nice and peaceful. Just the way I like it. So it's only a small, small little village. Um, but if you if you come to the Cotswolds, highly, highly recommend you come here. I love the way these walls are put together uh, with the Cotswold stone. You see this all over the Cotswolds. Must have took them absolute years to, to construct all that together. You can see all the stones individually placed. Yeah, this is all around the Cotswolds. This lovely honey coloured Cotswold stone. Just checking me out this one. <laughs> checking me out. Thinks I've got bread for him.
Nice. Over this way as well, there's uh, supposed to be a trout farm. You can actually uh, catch trout from the river and actually cook it. There's also a cafe there as well. I'm just coming to a pub which I think dates to the 17th century, I believe. It's called the Swan. Aptly named. Like I say it's a bit early in the morning, otherwise I'd be in there. Definitely. Have a few pints, be rude not to. But look at that. It's also a hotel as well and they do food. Really quaint. I can safely say it was well worth getting up early this morning to see this stunning village. Okay, I'll see you in the next one.